out. It's good to see a nice turnout today. Got a beautiful day. I'm surprised to see no Antifa around today. What do you guys think about that? Pretty good. You guys, are, you guys expecting to see a little bit of Antifa today? Yeah, today? Oh. They're sleeping in! I think that's it. Well, I'll tell you the truth, I think Antifa here in Toronto has been a little demoralized. I think after the, seeing how many people we've brought out to protest in the past, seeing how we're able to represent ourselves properly, we want to have a debate. We want to talk to the left. But the left doesn't want to talk to us, okay? And I think they're starting to see that. And I think today is a clear victory for us. There's no Antifa in sight. So thank you very much for everybody for coming out. So speaking of Antifa, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that the Halifax Five have been essentially thrown under the bus by the media, right? Everybody is just assuming that they're guilty, assuming that there's something wrong with what they did, simply because they showed, a new news an right here. they showed up to an event. Now I ask you guys, did they cause any violence? Were they there to cause any destruction at all? No! No. But Antifa's sole purpose of showing up to events is to cause destruction. What does the media have to say about Antifa? Hardly anything, right? Yeah. You never hear a peep out of the Canadian media in terms of the destruction that Antifa causes. So I think it's clear. I think it's very clear that we're experiencing extreme bias in the media to the point where they're not even willing to report on the things that actually matter. Like our friend just said, they're activists. They're not journalists. They're Come on. out there to prove a point. They're out there to paint a picture to the mainstream. Come on, So now. these types of demonstrations, showing, getting together, showing our support for groups like the Halifax Five, that means a lot. That shows people that there are groups of individuals, there are groups out there that they can attach themselves to. There is hope. There is something on the right for you to get involved with. So thank you, everybody, for coming out today. Thank you very much for the Ottawa Boys for showing up. Amazing show. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the Proud Boys have done an amazing job of giving younger people an opportunity to voice their conservative opinions. That's something we don't really have very many opportunities to do here in the West anymore. I would hate, I would hate to be a university student in today's day and age. Ten years ago, it was rough, but now it's worse than, ev than ever. So I know the Proud Boys, um, a lot of people associate them as a gentleman's group. Some people associate them as a, as a frat group. I do look at the Proud Boys as a bit of a support group. They're a support group for right-wingers, for nationalists, for people who hold views that the mainstream wants to call racist, wants to call bigots. So that's what I respect a lot about the Proud Boys. I know it might sound cliche, it might sound soft to consider it a support group, but that's what I love about them the most. And I think that's why we're all out, why we're all out here today, because we feel that support. So thanks again, everybody, for coming. Thank you, Ronnie. Yeah. Big round of applause for Ronnie Cameron. Yeah. Our next speaker is a good friend of mine, uh, Freebird Media founder, Alex Van Ham. You may recognize him. Let's go, buddy. Good, good. Let's see.